Tina Shaw has a song in her heart and a beat in her feet. But in truth, it's her smile that lights up a room. When she hugs you, she hugs you with no strings attached. And I don't think anybody does that. She really doesn't want anything back from you. Karina is special for so many reasons, even more so when you examine her genetic makeup. One of just 80 children in the world with chromosome 8P, officially known as... Chromosome 8P, inversion, duplication, and deletion. Chromosome 8P is rooted in basic genetics. We as humans are comprised of strands of DNA. Within those strands are chromosomes. Most people carry 46. Within the chromosomes, genes. On Karina's eighth chromosome, a severe abnormality. So the normal spiral staircase didn't look like... No. I mean, literally just a big chunk not there. That missing piece causes Karina cognitive delays, muscle atrophy, and the potential for digestive, psychiatric, and epileptic concerns. It's taken her roughly 1,200 hours of physical therapy to learn to walk. She's six. It is a bleak and frightening diagnosis given by doctors who are working with outdated information. Those who can't say with any measure of certainty how Karina's life will unfold. You go to all these specialists and you're asking for help and you're, you're almost begging to say, somebody please, like, you're the expert, you're the scientist, you're the doctor. Please just spend an extra hour and try to help me. Families oftentimes with rare conditions, rare genetic conditions especially, feel quite alone and isolated. Um, they're not like the other kids on the block. They're not like even the other children in the school. And so it can feel, um, you know, that they really have no guidance, that they're lost in the wilderness. Dr. Wendy Chung is a world-renowned geneticist with Columbia. She only takes the toughest cases, the ones other physicians disregard. She provides the strength so many families long for, but when it comes to Karina, it seems it's the other way around. Karina is a trooper. She really, every single day, is working to be the best that she can be in that. Allowing Karina to reach her full potential may come from manipulating her DNA, a feat that could benefit chromosome 8P patients worldwide, but also those with Alzheimer's, autism, Parkinson's, and bipolar disorder. We are entering into a brand new phase of medicine where we really are able to think about targeting the genes and the molecules that are um, causing the problems and being able to do things that, at least in my lifetime we haven't had the opportunity to do before. Part of the problem, there's no chromosome 8P database, no research program or clinical trials. The last known study was concluded 25 years ago and that has haunted the Shaws since Karina was diagnosed. I mean obviously the goal is it's her daughter and to do the best for her, but I think we've figured out that we can help a larger group of people because of her. The Shaw's quest to help began in Dr. Chung's office with the goal of better understanding 8P. The Shaw's asked Dr. Chung for a research proposal. When we reviewed it and we said, our family's gonna do this. Let's self-fund this to kick it off. And kick it off, they did. In order for this to work, Bina needed to find 100 families with some variation of chromosome 8P. So she turned to Facebook. It was then that Project 8P was born, a comprehensive research group that aims to alleviate the uncertainty surrounding such a rare disorder. Later this month, for the first time ever, 50 patients with some variation of chromosome 8P will gather in New York City to compare notes, a conference funded by the Shaws. We have anywhere from Slovenia, um, we have Australia, um, Germany, England, France. For the Shaws, it's a chance to see what Karina could become. For Dr. Chung, it's a chance to compare notes, to observe the largest group of 8P patients ever assembled, and hopefully to enact change. A journey that started with this little wonder and her indomitable spirit. I'm not going to set any limits on Karina. She is going to go to the moon, um, and she is going to have all of our help to be able to get there. We're blessed to have her, and I think like she's made her family like like she makes it she's so loving right so it makes like day-to-day -day great though she be but little she is fierce teresa priolo yeah. fox 5 news